Hi and welcome, here's the next part of the UFPS tutorial for Unity 5. And in this one I'm going to reuse the logic we created for the enemy, for this monster here, for a new character, and this will be a zombie. I downloaded this Toon Zombie pack, the link is added to the description of this video. And it consists of some nice zombie characters and animations for them. So let's drag one zombie here into the scene. Then I will scale him up a little bit. And then we are going to reuse all the components we added to the monster guy for this zombie character. It's quite easy, we just have to copy and paste all the components we used for the monster to this zombie. So let's start. First the capsule collider. Just select this here, right click, copy component, then select the zombie and just paste this as a new component. It's too big but we can resize it and relocate it, change the radius till it fits the zombie character. This should work. Now the next component is the Nuff Mesh. Again, copy it, then back to the zombie and add it here as a new component and scale it down. Decrease the height, the radius. Yeah, that will do. And then let's copy the script, the damage handler. As you can see, I renamed it. The name of this script was damage handler monster. It was specific for this monster and now it is called damage handler enemy. This means you can reuse it. So let's just copy it here to the zombie and I will upload this script to my Patreon account and you can download it from there for free. And now let's copy the last component, the surface identifier, so that the UFPS framework knows which blood effects to invoke when the character is hit by the bullets. And that's it for the components. Now let's duplicate the animation controller that we added for the monster. Let's open this so that we can see which animation states we added to this uh, character. We have the attack, the hit, walk, dying and idle animations. And then let's just duplicate this animation controller for the zombie character, rename it here to zombie. And then we will add the animations of the zombie package to this duplicated controller. Now let's see, let's start with the hit animation and I suggest it's a nice trick here to lock the editor so that it isn't closed when we select another component or another animation state or whatever. Now let's select all these animation states and drag the animations of the zombie to the motion of the appropriate animation state. Now for the hit animation. Then we have here the idle animation. So what we do here is we replace the animations of the monster with the animations of the zombie and it is the same interface and we can use the same script for a different enemy. Okay, now let me add the last animation. This is the death animation when the character dies and then we are ready to run the game and see if it will actually work. Okay, for the monster we know it will work. Yeah, here comes this zombie. The walk animation, oh, that looks great. Really cool, a nice dying animation. <laughs> Now let's start again. 
here he is. Woo! <laughs> I love it, I love it, really love it. Well, I really hope you liked this tutorial and as I said, I will upload the script for the enemy to my Patreon account and you can download it from there for free. And please subscribe to my channel, here's the link to subscribe and it would be awesome if you could support me on my Patreon and I hope to see you soon here back on JNN.